In this example, we're going to show how you can do something even more significant than creating list records or updating list items. We can work in an even larger scale, uh, such as creating lists or libraries dynamically based on a trigger in a record using smart actions. In another example, we're even going to look at how you could create an entire site based on a trigger. So what we want here is to create an independent library based on each individual project. And this way we'll avoid problems that might occur from users sharing a resource. So in this case, each project has its own library, which is specific for that project and won't be shared with other projects. In order to set that up, we're going to go into the list settings for projects and in the smart actions, we're going to use this correlating action. So for the action type, you will select create list. This applies to lists or libraries, which in SharePoint are the same type of thing. So you want to use an appropriate description. And this only should be triggered on new. Of course, we don't want this to be triggered more than one time. This will happen when the user first creates a project. In the advanced settings, we want to make sure this is hidden from users. And we want to provide an appropriate error message in case for any reason the library fails. One thing that may be necessary is to enable the impersonation method. And this would potentially solve an issue where if a user doesn't have permissions to create a library in this site, then this could solve that issue and make it where the library can be created. And then what we want to do is select an appropriate template. Oftentimes you're using custom list or document library, but of course you can use any of the types that you normally would select from when you're manually creating a list. And then the name and description can be filled in just in the same way that you would when you're manually creating this. Typically, you would not want this to show in the quick launch because, as you would imagine, you could potentially end up with too much information in that side navigation. So the name value is really the key thing. And what we want to do is have a unique name for each library. So one thing we like is that this is going to be consistent. We don't have users using different conventions for naming these libraries. So we could use any of the fields that the user fills out in the form. In this case, we'll just go ahead and use the project ID and then dash project documents. So this is going to be created every time a new project is added. And we don't need any additional conditions. Now, as we've done with the other actions, what you want to do is test this out and see if this works the way that you would expect. So in our projects tool, I went ahead and just created a new project, which you see here, which is project 10,004. And I've just added this project. And immediately after adding the project, I went into the site contents to check and see if the library is there. So in site contents, I can see that I do have a new library and it was created dynamically for me using that smart action. So the library is called project 10,004 project documents. So this will happen dynamically for every new project that's added.